Yo, yo, what's good, people? So, um, just a quick one. I want to talk to you about. I was, I'm, I'm a client of mine hired me to write some records for his daughter. Um, they've got a man management um deal. Them, he's managing his daughter. They're out in Dubai and they're out in the states and they're working on her uh, development at the minute. So they've hired me to write her some records. However, um, obviously, I've I've said to him on the last on the last song he he bought. He purchased um, a, com a copywriting license from me, um, but I forgot it to send it to him. So he's messaged me back saying, uh, "You know, Fertin, can you get that copyright license in that to me? And could you could you remind me what exactly it covers? Um, because I'm working with a lot of people at the minute, and no one else is kind of um, asking me for that. And I just want to make sure that everything's straight with them as well. So um, I thought I'd use this video to explain what it is." Um, and how it can affect you and how it can also help or hinder you so what i replied to him was you know i understand where you're coming from and um, the commercial license or otherwise known as copyright licensing is when the owner of a melody and lyrics which is me gives permission to a person which is you or him to use the song the permission can include copying distributing like selling on shopify Spotify, displaying, like putting it on your social media, transforming or re-performing and as in re-singing or re-rapping re, re the song. The license is usually for, a license is usually for a limited time, like two years. And then a new license will need to be purchased if you'd like to keep using and profiting from the song. Similar to uh, renewing a rental lease on a property. Once it runs out, the landlord can decide to give you a new lease, which will go on for another two or three years or however many years you've agreed. Or you can choose to terminate it and then he can give the property to someone else um, and start renting it to someone else. In terms of music, you can, I can then take that song um, when the lease is run out and now give it to someone else or re-edit it or use that song on another beat or X, Y, Z, however, however I want to do it. Um, my life, and then it ends by saying... Um, a license is usually for two years, depending on what the contract says to so read it. Um, but then I said to him, because we've got a good relationship, I'm giving you guys an unlimited license, which doesn't run out and won't need renewing after two years. So that's what I've told him, um, because I have got a good relationship with him. Over the past year, he's probably purchased about 10. He's hired me for about 10 songs to write for them. So and we've got a good relationship. Um, so that's not a problem. So that's a little bit on copyright licensing or commercial licensing. So when you're purchasing beats, if you're a rapper and you're purchasing beats, you want to look at the commercial license or the beat lease agreement. Find out how long the lease is for because you're going to need to keep renewing it. Okay, If you don't um, and you upload a song to Spotify and it gets shitloads of streams, that producer then can come back and say, you know, our lease has run out. You need to take it down from Spotify. And if you're popping and this song's popping, you'll have to take it down. No more money from streams, no more promotion, no more getting discovered by new fans or new listeners. So you don't want that to happen. So it's in your best interest. You need to make it your business to make sure you know what your beat lease agreement says, what how long it's meant to be for or whether it's unlimited. And um, that way you can stay protected and stay getting your cheddar. OK, so it's a little bit of information on how to look for, um, you know, what to stay alert for. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope that helps. Um, it's your boy One Frizzy signing out, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.